Hey everyone, uh, this is Derek Tangretti here and one of my topics that I talked about um, through my recording is how to make interactive choice boards but also why to do it and how to improve the flow of them. Uh, I've seen a lot of people create some really great resources including choice boards but one of the things I was finding as an educator was all of this great work was being shared and dumped everywhere and like one drives and things are being oversaturated. So how do we improve this workflow? So I talked about making these choice boards and how to do it easier. And then also just improving that workflow by adding something like a sway link, a form link, or a OneDrive link so that students are submitting their work into a shared drive folder. Um, now really what I'm gonna do is just show you how to set up a quick and easy one that um, and not focusing on the aesthetics for now, but just more the workflow and you can get through the um, aesthetics a little bit later on. So just quickly how uh, we do this is here is like a completed one that I showed in my presentation and all I'm really doing in this case I added uh, six boxes and they're really just a table and I'm just adding images so that students can see it visually especially for our ELL learners but then I'm also putting in a video tutorial and I do mention this in my presentation and recording but I would really suggest making it yourself because you know what your students will need and they'll feel a familiarity with your voice. Um, and I've seen a noticeable difference. So up top, I just made a, a three by three and I didn't complete these bottom ones. But just so you can see how you do it, I'm just going to do this quick. Is All I would do is I could go and start like a new page essentially. And I'm just going to go to insert. And I'm going to scroll down until I have a table. And you can actually see that it'll give you this array. Um, and my most common one used is a three by three table. So within this three by three table, you have a couple of different options of what you can do. I actually just start by within the table, um, like starting like to type in something like uh, Nearpod's gonna be one of my options. And maybe I want to use uh, Minecraft EDU. Um, perhaps I want to use make code and all I'm going to do is enter this and this will just be my like brainstorming ideas just for now. Eventually I'm going to add the logo. The real key is in this middle portion of where I really just want to set up and this is basically like your um, submission area. So you can really like put whatever you want here as an icon but I train my students consistently just to have this as an area in which they know that they'll be submitting. So now like as agencies being transferred, um, all the work is still streamlined into one area for you to grade, assess, um, comment, leave feedback in one quick spot. Now, if you wanna make this look more aesthetically pleasing, there are a ton of different ways to do that. You can add color, you can change like the line weights for these. Um, and I really enjoy doing that part of it. Um, I think it makes a big difference, but basically from here, all I would really do is I would like I'll change the alignments for all these, like in Nearpod, and then I would go and insert a photo. So you can do this in a variety of ways. You could just go look it up and copy and paste it like I've done, or you could go search and you can go search and see if you can find an iCod right within the tool that you're already using. So if you want Nearpod, like, okay, perfect. I want to use this one. I'm going to insert it into my table. Awesome. And now I'm going to shrink this down. And then I might put something like um, tutorial because you might have some students who want to try this, but they're not really sh sure. And then you can create your own and just add a hyperlink to this and you've got it. So in the submission area, the one that I find really works best is probably OneDrive. So you can pull up like a, a OneDrive account. I would create a new folder and we're just gonna call this test folder. And once you create that test folder, now what you can do is you actually can change like the sharing settings so that anyone here can really view it. And I can do this like, um, for me, I'm gonna allow editing and people with existing access. So really anyone I'm gonna share it with is now going to be able to submit work in here. So what I'm going to do is once I've created that folder and changed the sharing settings, I'm gonna go back to my choice board and underneath I'm going to copy and paste the link. So now what I'm gonna do here is just so they know, and I could 
make this text look a lot nicer, I'm going to insert and where it says link, I'm gonna use that. And so I'll put the address and copy and paste it again. But instead of the display text being a ton of just um, syntax, what I really wanna have is submit here. And you can say link, click on me, or something like that, just to inform your students. And now what they'll do is, you can, like you can add a photo, they just click on here and they will be able to submit work into that folder. And then just think of how much time that will save you. It'll just be in one folder that's clearly organized and you can do this for class, different assignments, whatever you really need. I have more in-depth things, but I don't want to really um, overextend. You can change and make it look like some of these or the other ones I have in my presentation, but this will get uh, the workflow standpoint going and I think you'll enjoy. Thanks everyone.